skilling feels like this. PVM feels like this. <sighs> but getting pets? Pets feel like this. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my fucking god, bro! I got the fuck. <laughs> Welcome to One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. Hello and welcome back to the One Pet at a Time series where we're going to have an opening clip where we get the phoenix. Here we go. Okay, we didn't get it, but we did get 700 kill count and uh, hopefully we'll be getting the phoenix itself soon. For fuck's sake, it's doing that thing again when none of the, uh, none of the fires go out. I'm definitely going to kill it. Three on at 12. I need these two to go out now or I'm done. Okay, there's one. Are we going to kill it by accident? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, that's actually probably optimal, to be fair. Get it down to 5% rather than starting at 20. But it always gives me a bit of a heart attack. Sometimes you've got to run around for ages to get it down to 25%. And other times it just does that and just won't go out. Fucking hell, this is what I mean by the painful ones. Out of run energy, just walking from one brazier to the other. As we, like, look at that. Like, how am I supposed to get two of them going at a time? It's fucking crazy. So much better when I almost accidentally kill it. As if, like, as if it's the same content. Look, that's about to go out again. That's fucking crazy. I just want to get two of them lit to get it down to 25%. God. Oh, there's level 102 fire making. Unexpected. I do like those virtual levels. It's pretty cool. Um, I turned them on a while ago, but they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're getting through it. 17 and a half mil fire making XP. No pet yet. I'm going to stack a few um, solo crates and open them all at once and hope for a good shot there. Right, we've got five little solo crates. Let's open them up and see what we can get. See if we can pull anything interesting. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Extremely sad. Uh, what can we get? Come on, we really want a phoenix. Some pyro legs. Uh, it's, uh, you always just feel, expect like you're gonna get something from these because there's so many rolls in each one. Um, let's go. Oh, so sad. Oh my god, eight snapdragon seeds? What in the fuck? Oh, my farming level is clearly high enough to get snapdragon seeds now, though. That's very nice. Okay, then my first ones. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a game changer. Right, I think it's time to unlock fairy rings. And I think what I need to do to get that is... Uh, so I've got the skilling requirement now. I just need to do Lost City and Nature Spirit. And I think Nature Spirit is Restless Ghost and Priest in Peril, maybe. Um, so those quests all together shouldn't take too long. And then we will be able to get ourselves Fairy Rings, which will unlock the Farming Guild for us. Which will mean that we can just generally get more seeds. Because it seems like I've got a lot of seeds at the moment. And I do. But as soon as the Wintertide Grind is done... I'm not going to be getting any more for ages unless I'm getting them from farming contracts. So yeah, that's a grind I really need to do. Restless Ghost done and our first little bit of prayer XP. Nine total levels for free. No, not total levels. What? Well, yeah, total levels. Eight total levels, I guess. But also, 30 combat. Uh, Alright, on to Priest in Peril or Lost City or something else. <laughs> Alright, I think this is where I've got to kill the Temple Guardian and it's actually going to probably be quite rough with my stats. Um, I'm not sure if I can flinch this thing. Uh, hopefully. Okay, I think I should be able to. Whoo! Hmm, actually it kind of looks like I'm not gonna be able to flinch it because it looks like it attacks me instantly. Oh, no, we're okay, we're okay. Level 15 hit points is about to come in. There we go, it's a sad day but it's a worthy sacrifice to get fairy rings. Okay, I believe this is Priest in Peril done now. There we go. Access to Mauritania and more prayer levels. 
Um, I'm not entirely sure. I can't teleport to Mauritania at this stage, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go and do Nature Spirit without being able to teleport to Canifis, which I'm sure will be incredibly bleak. But... Hopefully it will go well. <laughs> okay, so I've ran into a little bit of a problem, which is I've just found out that Nature Spirit gives 2,000 hit points XP, which would put me to about 20 hit points. Um, which does impact my Wintertide quite a bit, because it would mean in solos at least I'd be getting hit twos instead of ones. So that's kind of rough. Um, I think it's probably best to just do it. I think the fairy rings are probably worth it, um, and I don't really eat that much in the when I'm doing solos at least, uh, so I don't think it should impact anything. Um, and when doing masses with three braziers lit, I'll still only get hit. Um, I'll still only get hit once. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna do it. It's annoying, but I think I'm just gonna have to do it. Time to ruin our account build. Uh, and get 20 hit points. Oh, that's so spooky. Okay, uh, and we got a load of defense as well. 13 defense, very nice. Um, okay, that's going to got a combat up a bit. 35 now. Um, I'm hoping Winterstad will still be okay, but now on to the Lost City. Okay, I've had it 100% confirmed that the drama tree does not roll the woodcutting pet, so we're all good to kill the tree spirit. And, uh, yeah, finish up this quest. Now, this is going to give me a shitload of hit points XP, isn't it? Cause it's got... Oh, it's not got that many hit points. 85. Okay, I probably won't go over level 20 from this. Um, I think I'm probably going to go over 20 from the Tangle Root... Tangle Group thing, um, that is in Fairy Tale though, so... It's not the end of the world. We can actually get up to 28 without Winterstard hitting us above twos, which is good. Um, so yeah. Exciting times. Much account progression. Here we go! Time to finish Lost City! I think it just... Does it just... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I'm a real guy. Right, okay. Fairy tale part one. Where is it? There it is. Growing pains. All the requirements done, and I just need to go and speak to... Uh, Martin. Wow, that's a cool feature. Wow, didn't even know they did that. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get on that then. Okay, good luck me on the three animal, on the three animals? What the fuck am I talking about? On the three items Malignus is going to ask me to get. Let's see. Please be something good. Okay, yeah. Joga bones. I don't know what a king worm is and I've got snake grass. Joga bones, though, that might be difficult. Alright, let's look into that. Okay, so the king worm is really easy and can just get picked up off the ground entirely. The joga bones look complicated. However, apparently there's one in Ardoon Zoo. So if I just shoot it with uh, with fireball or whatever and then just uh, telegrab the bones, I think that'll do. So I think I've actually been niced on this, uh, but I'll be back shortly with the answers. Right, where's this jo Wow, that's cool. Okay, please let me tell me I can hear it. Oh my god. This is immense! That is so lucky. Wow. Okay, moment of truth. Can I telly grab the bones? Ah, oh, feels good. Feels good. Here are the king worms. And then I just need to grab my snake grass from the bank. And then we're all good. That is so good that I got good items. Okay, because I've actually got 55 farming already. And I think... Think the secateurs roll off your um, off your farming level. I should actually absolutely clap this thing, um, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. So let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm still only hitting ones. I don't really understand why. I thought normally it's because you're doing it at like level one thief, uh, level one farming so you hit rubbish but I'm still hitting rubbish so brilliant brilliant game design uh, hitting a 3 not too bad I guess 21 hit points that should be the last level I think I'm going to get before Phoenix Pet hopefully god killing the tangle root took ages turns out my max hit was only 3 so it took like honestly like 10 minutes of flinching so grim 
Um, but we're gonna do Fairy Tale Part 2 up until the part where we unlock Fairy Rings. Good time! Right, I think I've done enough of the quest to be able to use Fairy Rings now. So if I just put in that, which is the Farming Guild, can I go? Yes, you love to see it. Right, so that's fair. That's fairy rings are not very nice. Uh, time to see what Winter Todd's like with 21 hit points. Okay, so I'm kind of regretting getting the 21 hit points because doing solos is now a lot harder. Um, I get hit twos instead of one and it's really quite grim and I used six hakes and couldn't even quite get to the end on that one. I think I only got to like 11,000 points and I had to kill it. Um, but I'll open this chest anyway. 750 kill count. Nothing exciting, but yeah might have to rethink and stop doing the solos but I don't really want to because the construction XP is so good um, not really sure what to do go on then 73 fletching flying through the levels that's actually the most exciting thing about this post 99 winter Todd is the construction of fletching and woodcutting levels 73 fletching before I even started playing the game really that is mad and there we are with 20 million fire making XP. That is crazy. We're just going to keep going, I guess. Oh, I'm just, I pray we don't go 200 mil. Imagine going 200 mil fire making for the first pet. That would be so bleak. Time to open a fat stack of crates and see if we can pull anything interesting. We very rarely do, but let's see if we can. We've got so many pyro pieces now that we've managed. We've got like five of each one. That's crazy. Uh, anything interesting? No. Can we get a pet, please? No more boots. <laughs> uh, is that all of them? Sad. Oh, we just hit 104 fire making as a virtual level, 21.4 mil XP, flying through it, uh, and we've got a shitload of crates in the bank that I'm going to open at the end of today, so hopefully today shall be pet day. 68 wood cutting, uh, looks like we are going to get, I think we need 70 for Song of the Elves, and it's looking increasingly likely like we are going to get there without having to do any... Uh, without having to unlock the beaver pet, so uh, that's pretty exciting. Okay, time to open some caskets. Let's uh, see if we can get anything. Wow, we just got our first ever clue scroll in the account. I should probably do it. I didn't even know you could get them from birdhouses. That must be rare because I've got to nearly 60 without a single one. This is quite a big one, 75. Fletching, rune arrows, which isn't very cool, but that is a big milestone. 75 fletching without even playing the game, or fletching a bow, or fletching an arrow. Uh, I think a magic short bow is what, 80 or 85? So we'll almost certainly hit that unless we get the pet really soon. Right, I finally decided to take your advice. I think I have to do the grand tree. I don't, because the, the thing is, is I think to get desert treasure without starting training thieving i need tourist trap xp to hit level 53 just from quests however it's pretty close and also the thieving pet is quite quick um so i think actually getting um my thieving and my agility up now having slower run rate uh, run drain this sort of thing I think it's actually just going to be too advantageous um, not to do. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to have to do it. And uh, yeah, hopefully soon we'll have the Grand Tree done as well. Here we go. Right, agility it is. Don't misclick fletching. There's agility 22. And then we need to do agility again. 27. And away we go. We can do the Grand Tree now. Exciting times. Right, before we do the Grand Tree, I think it's probably time that I uh, I open these. Uh, we'll start with the two 28-roll uh, crates that we've got. Can we pull a pet anytime soon? Probably not, because our XP isn't that high. But... It would be fucking good if I could get it. Five snap dragon suits, that's fucking crazy. Oh no. 
The black demon is go- Oh no, wait, there's a rock in the way. Oh, go on then. Take the rock. Take the rock and give me a shitload of XP. Do it. Do it, tiny little man. There we go. Oh! 33 agility. 44 attack. Some magic XP. We are flying. We are cooking with gas. Pretty big level coming in. 65 farming. I mean, that is nuts. We only started it an episode ago. Cheeky little tome of fire. Somehow accidentally did a like 19 roll crate, but not bad. Not bad. Making my first uh, super attacks at the minute. We got up to 45 herb law. Um, I think if if I could if I go quite dry on this pet, it's not exactly the end of the world because I'll have such high like farming, construction, hunter, herb law, these kinds of skills by the end that <laughs> the rest of the game will be relatively easier. So uh, yeah, it's an interesting uh, balance. Just doing some quests that I felt would be useful. We're uh, we're one pet locked. We're not necessarily uh, you know locked to an activity. Uh, so that's nine rune crafting from that. And I think I'm going to do the quest. What's the one for? Uh, I forgot what it's called. The one that does Guardians of the Rift. Is it just called Guardians of the Rift? I don't. Know. Okay. Turns out the quest is Temple of the Eye. But you also need ten rune crafting. And I can't exactly just go and craft some runes to get it. Uh, so I think what I'm actually going to have to do is the Eyes of Gluffery, which I don't think has a room crafting requirement at all. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go and do that. Right, turns out you need a mud rune for this quest, and I was getting a bit stressed that I couldn't get one, but I think I should just be able to buy one from here. Uh, yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> that was a bit of nerve-wracking for a second. Uh, there we go. Well, I've forgotten how much runecraft and XP this is, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Uh, let's see what level we can get to. If they never stop talking in this quest. Right, there we go. 6,000. That's mega. Oh, nearly at 55 for high arc as well. So that's pretty cool. Right, 54 magic, 23 runecrafting. Perfect. Uh, now time to do Temple of the Eye. Right, we're crafting runes here, but it does not count because we cannot roll the crafting pet within uh, Guardian. Well, we cannot roll the rune crafting pet within Guardians of the Rift. Um, and this is just the quest anyway. Uh, and there we go, Temple of the Eye done. And with it, 31 rune crafting. So, interestingly, for this account, I've only just realised. I can do things like Guardians of the Rift and Temporos and Barbarian Assault because you roll the pet when you go for the rewards afterward, like when you trade in the points. So there's nothing to stop me at all from doing Guardians of the Rift for runecrafting XP and runes and mining XP and crafting XP. Um... Because, and just not trading in the rewards and rolling the Abyssal Protector. Because otherwise, I'm not rolling a pet at all. Same with Temporos. I can do the fishing, the cooking, the shooting. Uh, get the fishing XP from there. And the cooking XP. Um, I just can't go for any rewards. And then, if I decide I want to go for those pets at a later date, I already have a head start because I've got a shitload of rewards built up. So... This is kind of game changing for the account. It means I can sort of diversify activity quite a lot um, and it will still be useful. And it means that I can get my mining up, which means I can get rune ore from the crates at Wintertard. It also means I can get my um, fishing up at Temporos, which means I can get better fish from the crates at Wintertard, which is kind of huge because at the moment I'm getting, I'm not even getting swordfish, never mind sharks. Um, so this is big, very, very, very big. I can't believe I didn't think it before. And here we are just about to squeeze out 50 crafting, which is ruby amulets, of course. So it means I can get strength at me. It means I can make strength at me right now if I wanted to. That's pretty cool. Um, and mahogany birdhouse, which is what I actually wanted um, because that's better XP uh, than the maple ones I was doing. I think it's going to be a little while until I get 50, uh, 60 for you birdhouses, but we'll get there eventually. 
I was about to be really happy because it's our first set of mahogany trees, but one of them got diseased. I think I can just fix it with these. Is that right? I don't think it'll be fully grown, though. Or will it be check health? No, yeah, no, still inspect. So I can check the health on these and plant more ones, but that's really annoying. <laughs> What's the XP on these, then? So, 15k! That's mental. That is mental. Okay, cool. Right, so here we go. Uh, I'm just going here so I can train some mining AFK. Um, I feel like this is sort of a big step in the account. I don't think I'm cheating doing any Guardians of the Rift as long as I don't search the rewards Guardian. That's where the pet roll is, so it's fine. It's the same, in my opinion, as like doing a quest for XP. Like You technically train the skill, but... There's no pet roll, so it's fine. So as long as I don't search a rewards guardian, we're all good. I'm not actually going to do ring crafting now because I just need to AFK whilst I do some work. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to mine the guardian for mining XP and see what the kind of XP per hour is. 25 million fire making XP. We are flying through it. One eighth of the way to 200 mil. No pet yet. I've got some crates stacked up, so we'll open those for the end of the episode. Right, five 28 roll crates. Let's see what we can. Oh, seven? Or some of them not? <laughs> oh, I think two of them are, uh, are just small ones. Let's see which. Okay, I think it's these two probably. Yeah, alright, cool. Right, five proper ones. Let's see what we can get. Not bad. Loads of pyro, U seeds. I'm really wanting a lot of U seeds at the minute, so that's a good one. Because uh, I'm trying to get my farming as high as possible, so I can get spirit tree in my house. As that would be ideal. That one's pretty miserable. Uh, nothing except the snap seeds there that's useful. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Again, not a lot that's of any use. One more. Okay, my child having a bit of a meltdown in the background. Uh, let's see what we can get from the last one. Again, not the pet. And that is 68 farming. That is a level 4, I believe, palm uh, palm trees. Um, not that I have any palm seeds, but we are really making some inroads on this farming XP, which is pretty huge. I want to try and get to 83 or I think 78 with a garden pie if I can get one of those. Um, I think I can. Uh, if I can get 78, then I can do a spirit tree in my house, which is mega. Um, and then after that, it's not even far from getting um, a fairy ring in my house, which would be really cool as well. Okay, I can see how we've kind of ran into a bit of a problem here uh, with farming contracts. So I need a Nasturium seed, right? I don't have one from Wintertard, fair enough. I can't buy them. And, crucially, I can't thieve from Master Farmers or Seed Stalls to get one. Uh, which is the only realistic way to get them, except the seed packs. And I can't get any seed packs, because that's the easiest contract I can do. Uh, so, short of killing, like, 200 cockatrices... Uh, <laughs> or something else stupid like that, I might need to wait on the on the farming guild until I've got thieving down because I just can't get enough of those just crap seeds I mean once I get it up and running it might be viable but I just don't think it is and I don't think it's worth it I'm getting quite a lot of actually useful seeds from Wintertard like herb seeds, tree seeds etc um, I don't really know what I'm going to get from farming contracts that is particularly useful um, interesting uh, yeah, I th I can't I can't justify that. I might just have to do thieving earlier than I than I anticipated. Relatively important level coming in. Well, for most accounts, not so much for us. And I've run out of run, which is pretty embarrassing. But uh, here we are with sixty three hunter, which is a level for red chins. We're obviously not allowed to catch any yet, but. The hunter levels are flying, and we're easily going to have the... Uh, I think we need 70 for Song of the Elves, so we're easily going to have that. 70 woodcutting. What a 
milestone. That's cool. That's really cool. Hopefully not too many more. And with that, we have achieved our XP goal for the episode. 27 million, which means uh, we've done over, well, we're just about 10 million XP this week. So, I mean, that is quite a big grind. That's at least five hours per day uh, if I played seven days a week. And I don't play seven days a week. I play five days a week. Um, so that's pretty big. Let's open these nine mass crates for nothing exciting. But I've got five solo crates in the bank, which is about a one in 40 of getting the pet. So hopefully we'll get lucky on, in the last second of the episode. That would be brilliant. Okay, here we are with the last crates. Let's see what we can do. Nothing in that one. Got some good logs and around seeds. Oh, I want you seeds, ideally, if we don't get the pet. That one's really grim. Literally nothing much of any use there at all. Come on. Still got over 1% to go. Magic seed, ranar seed, and a pyro piece. Not too bad. Got some ranar weeds in that as well. I do like these solo crates because they just so much loot. Um... Nothing particularly useful in that one. And on to the last one. Please be something good. Please. <laughs> Tome of Fire, I guess. How many, how many, and a UC. How many Tomes of Fire is that now? Uh, that one, plus the one we're holding, plus our charged one. So we're seven Tomes of Fire now. That is mental. Um, but the loot tab is looking very juicy these days. Uh, a lot, a lot of good stuff to start an account with. So as frustrating as it is for the video <laughs> not to get the pet early, it's actually fantastic for the longevity of the account. This is where we're at with our skills. We've got up to 47 herb law as one of our notable gains. Uh, 70 wood cutting, that's kind of crazy. 76 fletching, getting really close to uh, just being able to create our own magic short bow straight away on the account, which is pretty cool. Up to 64 construction. Uh, I'm going to plan on doing even more solos this week uh, coming up, so that should hopefully be touching 70. We've got 69 farming in basically one week, so I think when we started this video, I must have been in the 40s or something. Um, so that's wild. 64 Hunter as well, I'm hoping to keep that going up. I'm hoping I can get 70 in that as well next week, assuming we don't get the pet um, you know, early on in the week. Um, but yeah, really quite good. Insane account progression will be over 1k total by next episode, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, it's been a fun one. Uh, so thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't get the pet again. Um, but it's part and parcel of the account, I guess. And we'll be back next week with, hopefully... A phoenix following us so uh yeah uh remember to like if you can it really helps me and uh yeah leave a comment and let me know what you think i should do next my plan is probably to do agility but that'll be a bit bleak uh, but it would mean that i can start slayer alongside it uh, but let me know what you think i should do next um and also what might be fun is let me know what you think my next five pets should be so i can i uh, because my plan so far is to do agility and then do uh, the corrupted gauntlet for the Hunliff and then obviously the Bofa and the Blade of Saildor as well. Um, and then from there, I'm not really sure. Once I've got that, kind of the, the, the world is my oyster, so to speak. I think I could do, I think thieving might be useful. Um, I would like to do the TOA pet as early as I can because I think getting all the stuff from there would just be insane for the account. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think I should do as my next five pets and in order, uh, some kind of logical account progression. That would be really cool. So yeah, uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye-bye.